Hello and welcome to episode 18 of my Terraria Calamity mod playthrough. We've been a little busy between episodes. I've collected together a bunch of stuff to prepare to get some upgrades. That will be one of the things we do, but we want to get something done before that. Main task for today will be killing Queen Bee and then the other thing that killed us earlier on in our playthrough. But before that, you will have noticed I've explored a bit more of the um, snow biome and I've explored a bunch more of the jungle biome. Uh, we didn't find much of what we were looking for, but we did find some of them. The reason we stopped exploring the jungle biome is because I think this might be indication... This is a very specific structure, but this might be indication that the temple is beneath it. Um, but there are some chests down here that we want to quickly peek into. I think there's one there. So there's probably one over here as well. So we're going to quickly check those first and then we'll come back and start making stuff with a view of taking on Queen Bee first to get in all of her summoner goodness. She has one of the best summoner sets in pre-hard mode. But yeah, I'll see you once I get back down there. Oh, also I found myself a grindstone which gives us armor penetration. There's a couple more of these that we still need to get, although one of them I know is bought from the wizard. I can't remember where the other one is. Anyway, back to getting where we're going. Okay, here we are. Let's break our way in. Banging my head on. Oh yeah. And then small dirt blocks down the way. Oh there's the axe that we crafted ages ago. Not what we were looking for. Let's move on. Can we get out of here? No, we are gonna have to. Knock our way out. Uh, do I want to pick up the fairy? Not really. in this side. Ah, oh, nope, there is one over here. Hey, we finally found one. Now we don't need to craft two, we only need to craft one. Hmm. Something over there. That's a 
fun. Maybe it was just going to summon bats. Easy enough way to figure it out. Pick up the button. Yeah, it was just going to summon bats. Hey, second down cloak. We don't need to craft any anymore. Um... One more chest for us to find. You're probably just showing us where there's a half, aren't you? A oh, hive directly above me. There's something very hive like directly above me. Oh, no, there's a chest up there. We do actually need another chest. Um, we're going to be draining a lot of water, though. we need to drain the water to get at the chest. We have filled our inventory though. Um, we've moved things around, that's there. doesn't have the item I wanted. I need another pair of um, water walking boots. I have a feeling... These are some sort of boss spawn. We have more chests down here. I don't know what they are, and I'm not wanting to touch them for the time being. One more chest. Which would have been around about here. Mine it. I wanted to put a light down. Yeah, the 
There should have been a chest over here, but there is still stuff above us. Okay, if there was another chest, we can't see it. Okay, we got what we came for, so let me quickly sort our inventory out and I'll see you back when we get back to base. See you in a bit. Okay, inventory sorted. Let's get to our upgrades. So... What we effectively have here is an upgrade for two sets of boots to get them to the stage before um, Terra Spark boots. We then have a summoner useful item. Uh, this item is going to be used, well, I only actually need this, but this item in general is going to be used for the Ankh later. Um, but we want the um, poison resistance for taking on Queen Bee. This gives us access to. Um, a item that improves mining speed. I just want to craft it because it's nice and cheap and simple. And I forget what this last one does. Anyway, let's get our boots off. Okay, let's remind ourselves what I need to craft this at. I do need an ice machine. We have one in storage. No need to run off somewhere else temporarily to get it done. We can just do it here. Put that there. Get us... That is a nice machine, isn't it? Did I collect the wrong materials? Any ice block? Ice block. Lever. Lever. Any iron bar? That's a silver bar, that's why. Wrong kind of bar. I was aiming for lead, I missed. How better? There we go. Gets us our second pair of those. So now we can come over here and we can upgrade them to lightning boots. And then to frost spark boots. And now they are one phase away from being Terra Spark boots, which can then be upgraded again and again and again and again. That's one thing I kind of like um, with what Calamity Mod does. A lot of things can be upgraded again and again and again and again and again and again, which is kind of cool. Um, I actually went back because I fig found out that um, I didn't keep a spare ice boomerang because um, I found a whole bunch of these while I was out exploring. And this is also one that can be upgraded again and again and again and again and then again. <laughs> In fact, I think this is the new end game item because by the looks of it, it uses basically the highest tier weapon from every single class by the looks of it. Or at least very similar. But yeah, that's the other thing that we're going to be doing while we're prepping all of this stuff. We're also going to be... Um, oh, what's it called? There. Preparing um, weaponry for further upgrades. Okay, so... That's what the silt is for. The silt is for the ancient fossil, which can be upgraded again later. These two are for the raider talisman, which is an upgrade for 
our Vogue build. And crit gives us um, a bonus to crit when we hit with a non-stealth strikes after stealth strike. Which is actually going to be really, really nice with this weapon. Uh, but this has one further upgrade. It can be upgraded to nanotech. Which is just, I think, a collection of a bunch of different rogue upgrades. So it's something we needed to make at some point anyway. Um, that's what they were for. They were for the Spirit Glyph, which is a summoner-specific upgrade, which again can then be upgraded again and again into this thing, which gives us a whole bunch of extra um, bonuses when our summons attack. So that's nice. Whether or not we'll use it in long term, I don't know yet. But it was something we had and we could craft, so I wanted to craft it. Um, lastly, we want to merge these two together to give us our medicating bandage. Right. That can go into storage. These I want to be keeping for now. We still need to do some crafting of weapons and things. Um, only one of them I think I'm going to be keeping for use. Or for current use. Um, let's see. That wants to be put away. So let's put that away in here. And these want to be upgraded. Uh, that's fine. Should have paid a little bit more attention as to whether or not these boots had warden on them or not. Let's go get them upgraded anyway. These are going to start costing a reasonable amount to upgrade, so. I think we're looking for Armoured, Armoured or Warden. There's Warden. Let's upgrade the cheaper ones first. Angry is damage. I'd kind of rather have, if this is going to have anything, I'd rather it have a Stealth Strike. Although it's hard to say no to plus four defense when we're looking at the two weakest defense characters. Uh, critical strike isn't useful on a summon build. There's another warden. It has been very generous with its giving me of warden. <laughs> okay. We're going to be taking on the queen bee with um, our rogue build. Boots do already have. I'm just thinking the jet. Um, these already have jet boots in them, so these already give us a decent amount of flight. But for the Queen Bee, we actually don't need much. We already have a decent amount of jump and that. So now let's just put this in here. And stealth generation on it. Let's re-roll this. We will try and see if we can get stealth generation plus eight on it. Since again, it's cheap to do. There it is. And that gives us a reasonable amount of defense. Um, okay, so... That does it for that. 
that's damage. Oh yeah, I meant to be. Oh, I meant to take all of these off and put them in storage. Defense, damage, defense, defense. That gives an extra minion, so that's too useful to put away. It's an extra sentry, which is potentially still useful. I think we might get rid of that. If we want to use this. Okay. That'll do for now. Next things next. We need to craft a bunch of things using materials that are in here. I don't think I need this. Do I want to make an abomination? There's a decent number of easily accessible larvae. It's not necessarily a bad idea to um, craft an abomination just in case. We'll probably find one eventually, yeah, let's make one. Uh, it is craftable so we can search it in here. Ah, uh, bomb. Spelling it wrong. Ah, oh, it's abomination, isn't it? Because funny hive box. So I th think I have all of that. We need to get an additional. Hon Actually, no, we have an additional honey. We did keep some honey. Where did I put the honey box? Those are in here. Hive box we should have, and they should be in here. What was the last thing? Stinger. There we go. One abomination. Right. So I need things I specifically need. I need the blade of grass. Uh, they can't be upgraded. I want the snap fawn. Uh, the ivy whip is slightly better than the one we're using at the minute. It has, um, I think, a slightly better real velocity, but it's basically the same range. Yeah, the only thing that's better is the real velocity and the fact you can use free binding points. Uh, I'm going to leave it for now. I'm fairly sure there was... There's more than one other thing. There's a... Um, let me pull these into here. I'm certain there was something else in here I needed. Of regrowth. There it is. The Benadol Spirit Staff. What are we missing? Rich Mahogany. So we need this because this is part of the Summoner branch of the, um, uh, what's it called? What's the Knight's Blade called? The thing that we got this thing for. Knight's Edge. It is the summoner version of the Knight's Edge. Vile Feeder. Uh, there's two versions of this. There it is. So yeah, and then this one again upgrades all the way up into this thing. So yeah, we need that, so we need rich mahogany. Uh, I don't believe the bow is here. And the 
reason I don't believe the bow is here is because I think the bow is the bee bow. So we're about to get that from Queen Bee. can be upgraded. I wonder if there's a similar one for the um, yo-yos. Fines. Pound in potion. Ivy whip. This one, that one has an upgrade or has an upgrade path, but I don't have to use um, the jungle bows and that, I can use the other type of bows. Or the other flower. Okay, um, so I think those are the things that we wanted to craft out of here. I only want that for actual use at the minute. They're the materials for later upgrading. Whether or not I use those weapons is another matter entirely, but that is what they are for. Um, so let's put them in here. Um, let's put this away for now, since we're not going to be doing um, or killing the queen bees with a summoner build. We're going to be using our vogue build. Okay. I think it's high time we killed a few bees. Um, what was my plan? I think my plan was to use this area here and that gives us one, two... Technically three bees near enough nearby that we can probably kill them and then run to the spot where we're allocating for their death. Uh, we do have Yeah, we still got some in some in here. Okay. I'll see you when we get to the location. There was a reason there's a whole bunch of potions in here. They were for the boss fights. Anyway, back we go. Okay, this is the spot. Um, let's quickly build something out. God damn it. Being a bit too smart, it is. Okay, that will do as a space. We just need to clear out one or two things overhead. That will do. Right. One arena created. Uh, where are you? You're up. We need to be careful coming down because we don't have... Ah, uh, watch my thingy anymore.
Apparently some blocks up there. We also forgot to summon all of our summons. We did leave some blocks up there, god damn it. There's another little one there. Okay. Oh, we filled our inventory. Um Right, uh, let's just throw this all into here for now so we can summon another one and get that killed while we still have buffs. There's the Witch Doctor. Uh, where's the next nearest one? Technically over there. I don't know if I can get close enough from this side to be able to pop it. Summons. down. Let's see if we can grab the third. No good. Come on! How is its head not part of its hitbox? Uh, do we still have time on our buffs? We do still have time on our buffs. I don't know how many... Um... Interesting, we only have... Oh no, we pulled one away. Um, I don't know how many rolls I'm going to need to get everything I want from this, so... I'm better off just using this.
Okay. That'll do for now. We'll see whether or not we have enough. Um, if we get our pig out, piggy bank out, put away that and that, and get the treasure bags only. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's see if we got what we needed. Um, we don't care about the vanity items. Good, the gun is there. What I want is the armor, which I thought was a drop, but it might not be. Um. It may be uh, made with beeswax, that might be what I'm thinking of. picked up everything? It looks like we picked up everything. Let's just double check. Okay, yeah, maybe a craftable item then. That's fine. Good, we got the bee's knees. Um, here's another way of checking. If we come into here and have a look at the queen bee, do we have everything that we want? Think of the lava proof bug net. We didn't get these three. Well, we're out of inventory space at this point. So, we got the immediate stuff we wanted. I think we do need the lava proof bug net. Ah, no, we don't need it. It just gives us access to additional. Um, What's it called? Uh, bait. Access to additional bait. The alchemical flask, I think we wanted. Although I think it's craftable. I do think it would have been nice to have. Alchemical. Yeah, it can be crafted. have access to an ancient manipulator which is weird because you can get both of these now okay let's go back to base and sort all this stuff out um do i want to deal with the rain and slimes i suppose we should let's just throw everything in here for now we do still need things in the slimes. Actually, one second, let me just pause and do something. Okay, we're back. Um, let's try to quickly get some stuff put away. While they deal with the slimes. Statue put down. Those put away. Um, I want to sell that. I don't want it to be filtered into these. Let me just put this in here for now. I think. The rest of that can just go away. Keep that on us. Uh, take these off. And 
here. Okay. Probably not far off summoning the um in slime. Let's oh, we have a pinky. Right. I'll let them do all the business until King Slime gets here. Here he comes. There it is, over on the left hand side. Job done. I forget what we wanted from that guy. From its treasure bag. Didn't we already get a trunk, Crown Jewel? Haven't we already got a full set of ninja gear? We have, okay. So let's create a stack of things that can be sold. We already have one of those. We already have one of those, I think. I have a feeling it's in here. There it is. This is a lot of fire can go in here with the rest of them. Yeah, I think we didn't get the crown jewel last time. It's something we were waiting for. It's definitely something we're going to need. So let's put that in here for safety. Um, the rest of that can go away. But I don't want to filter these things away. Um, so let me just put these in here temporarily so I can do that. for sale. Let's stick this thing up somewhere. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so let's have a look in here and figure out what we can sell and what we want to keep. Uh, we only need one of those because they're not materials. That is a material, so we'll keep two of them, depending on how many things we can make with it. We can make a bunch of things. We'll keep all three of them then. Um, honey balloon we're not going to use. That's not a material. I have a feeling... I thought this could be used with something else. None of these are further upgradable. The only thing I really want is the Stinger Necklace. Although this is the better necklace, but that's why we have two of them. So we want one with the Stinger Necklace, which we have. We're going to want one for Play Hive, so we'll keep that. I think we're going to use the other two. We'll keep them just in case. Okay, we did get a B gun. Which can be upgraded to one other thing. As if the B gun wasn't powerful enough. Um, but yeah, there's only one upgrade for it, so we only want one of them. 
that can be sold. There's a full set of that. We only need one of these. That can be upgraded. It's using the Zenith and the Plague Keeper. I'm going to get the play. Um, oops, I don't need to be doing it that way. Zenith is still the top one. That just doesn't seem quite right. Maybe things have been slightly mixed around and there is actually now a better one. Um, so yeah, we want two of these. We definitely want the bee's knees because the bee's knees is used to make the lunarium bow, which is used to make the blah blah blah, the blah blah blah, the blah blah to make the best item in the game is what I'm assuming this thing is. So we need to keep the bee's knees. Honey goggles is a mount. That's a general summons. That's just a throwable item like that is. Crafting knife and that can be put away. And that's a crafting item as well. Okay, let me sell all of this. <sighs> Hopefully we didn't accidentally keep something we shouldn't have done or accidentally sell something we shouldn't have done we can farm the bees though <laughs> queen bee is annoying but is not insurmountable okay let's read this thing while of tremendous size these creatures are docile until provoked their idyllic demeanor uh, is a rarity nowadays a thing of beauty even in the past Entire villages would have sprung up around these grand hives to peacefully harvest their share of honey while protecting them from danger. Though its death is understandable, uh, given the circumstances, I do feel pity for those majestic beings. Fate was cruel to many of their kind. Okay. So with that in mind, let's get these put away. Ammunition type stuff can go in here. Cosmetic stuff goes in here. We're running out of room. Okay, in the long run, we're going to need both of these. We may end up using this to take on... Oh wait, are we missing... Or is it craftable? It may be craftable. Um, there's a summon from that. There it is, Hornet Staff, it's craftable. All made at an anvil. Basically, I wanted this set. Can we make that? We can make that. Provides life regeneration, uh, equivalent to standing in honey. Standing still in honey grants regen or powerful, extremely powerful regen. Halves how long you are afflicted with sickness debuffs. Yeah, it's definitely something we're gonna want eventually. We may as well make it now, even if we're just gonna put it away. That we can't make. And we're not really using yo-yos. Okay, so let's get that lot sorted. We want the full set of B gear. We may very soon be replacing this, I don't know. The Hornet Staff. What was the other things we needed? Um, Made an anvil, we need three of those, ten of those. OK. 
Okay, let's have a look at our baby hornet. I do still kind of prefer this one. I might upgrade my mount though. I don't remember whether or not this one can fly. Oh yeah, it can fly. That makes it so useful. I think there's only a limited amount of time it can fly for though. Maybe, maybe not. Bee's knees wants to be put away. Um, that wants to be put away. I think I put that in the wrong place, didn't I? Supposed to go down there. That is there. That lot can go in there. This is technically a buildable thing. We've been storing these in here. At least I thought we had. Where are... Oh, we moved those ones out. Okay, fair enough. They are elsewhere is where those ones are. Increases the strength of friendly bees. Which is how I basically took... I think that was in master mode. How I took on um, the wall of flesh. Just all of the bees. Okay. So this set of armor can be retired. them directly from here. Yes, there we go. Let's replace that with that. Increases armor penetration. I really need to um, figure out what I'm going to do about my actual base. That's planned for Monday, although looking at the time, we may not be able to... Um, get to the second boss we were supposed to kill today. Uh, did we have the things we needed for this? No. We're saving that for that. So, we can go in here. Bee gun. I should probably upgrade it, but... Okay, let's have a look at what we have over here. Let's take that off. It served us well, but... Increases summon damage. We can merge this and this, just not at the minute. We need um, an item from a later boss. We can turn it into one of these. But we need these things here. Extra summon damage. For the armor penetration and the extra effects of this, it might be worth swapping that one out. Increases the strength of friendly bees. Do we have access to... Yes, four summons now. Kind of keep this stuff on me even if we're not going to use it at the minute this one though i think i can put away we're definitely going to use it later but we don't need it anymore at the minute because it's used to make this which is also fused with the arc shield so it's a much later upgrade put these on here 
I don't really still have a good sentry, but that's also 10% increase to summon damage. So I don't know. Okay, we need to swap that out. We almost never use this anyway, so. Okay, let's get some upgrades on that stuff. And then I think we'll probably have to call it looking at the time. Oh, we need to um, put the witch doctor where, uh, in their final home. Okay. Um, six summon tag damage. Some more focus. Strike enemies to gain whip attack speed. I think speed and damage are the only things we really want from this. Size is nice. Critical strike chance is not useful. There you go, that'll do. Can't get better than a legendary. Although that may not, strictly speaking, be true for this weapon. There may be a slightly better modif modifier we could get on it. Oh, this thing didn't even have any upgrades on it. Lethal will do. It's too early on to be rolling for the best. And no, we can do better than Mystic. Masterful will do. Um, okay, these two. Hasty, yep, warden will do. Um, this one I'll probably want a damage boost. Though it's hard to say no to warden. Okay, fine. Warden it is. So fights will take a little longer. At least we won't uh, we won't die to them. Um. So now the question. Increasing bees will increase the damage of these. Um, I don't think I'm going to use Hive Pack except if maybe I use this build to take on the Wall of Flesh. This is summon damage by 10. The other set that we can get, um, which requires us to kill the next boss, um, will have one less summon, but I think it has a higher summon damage. Just. Max centuries. Uh, let's swap that out. Penetration and the bees on down uh, damage. Well, bees and downs with honey because that basically gives us a regen if we take damage. Okay. But yeah, I. Th I think we don't have enough time, unfortunately, to take on the next boss. Which means we'll have to save that till Monday. And at the same time, after we take on that boss is the next time we need uh, we get the opportunity to do a major set of upgrades. Um, because that finally or will finally give us access to being able to mine this stuff. Which is a thing that's holding us back from a number of upgrades and merged items and things. And then after that, looking at our list, Skeletron, Deerclops, the Slime God. That is the last major upgrade before um, Wall of Flesh. The Slime God is the thing we need to make um, Knight's Edge and all of those other combined weapons. So we'll have to try and make sure we have our collection of weapons up and ready at that point. And then we take on the uh, Wall of Flesh. Uh, that probably means we're looking at the Wall of Flesh in two weeks' time. But yeah, we'll get these, um, this one killed on Monday and then probably do something with this. 
try and actually get the base up and running. But yeah, we'll leave it there for today. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the show. We'll be back again on Monday for more of this. So hopefully we'll see you next time. Cheerio.